And in this video, we're going to learn how to find the direction cosines of a vector. Now, you might ask, what are the direction cosines of a vector? Well, let's say we have this arbitrary vector, vector A, and notice that vector A has a magnitude of four units in the x direction, six units in the y direction, and two units in the z direction. So you can see if you go four units out in the x direction, six units out in the y direction, let me put some numbers down here, four and six, and two units out in the z direction, then you draw a vector from the origin to that point in space which is defined by the coordinates of four, six, and two, like so, then you have indeed the vector A pointing in that direction. Now also notice that vector A makes an angle with the x-axis, I labeled it as A, now be careful, Vector A does not lie in the xy plane, it lies up above the xy plane, so there's a, an angle between the x-axis and vector A, we call that angle A. There is a, um, a, an angle between the vector A and the y-axis, and again, that's not in the xy plane, uh, but notice there's an angle between that vector and that uh, axis, and then there's a vector between, uh, an angle between the vector A and the z-axis, so call them a, b, and c. The direction cosines are defined as the cosine of a, the cosine of b, and the cosine of c. And it turns out that those are such that if you take the, the square of each of those and add them together, you get 1. So for example, you take the cosine square of a plus the cosine square of b plus the cosine square of c, this will always equal 1 no matter what your vector is. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? In other words, since the direction cosines, which are defined as alpha, beta, and gamma, we can then say that alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared also must equal 1. So then the question is, how do you find those direction cosines? How do you find the cosine of A, the cosine of B, and the cosine of C for any vector? Well, it turns out that the cosine of A, which can be defined as the, uh, what we call direction cosine alpha, is equal to the cosine of A, which is equal to the magnitude of the x coordinate of the A vector divided by the magnitude of the A vector. In other words, this is equal to A sub x divided by the square root of A sub x squared plus A sub y squared plus A sub z squared. Of course, we can do the same for the other direction cosine beta. Beta is equal to the cosine of b, which is equal to a sub y over a, which is equal to a sub y over the square root of a sub x squared plus a sub y squared plus a sub z squared, which of course is the magnitude of the vector a. And then finally, gamma is equal to the cosine of c, which is equal to a sub z Divided by, the, uh, divided by the magnitude of A, which can be written as A sub Z divided by the square root of A sub X squared plus A sub Y squared plus A sub Z squared. All right, now that we've done that, let's plug in what those numbers are. A sub X is 4, so this is equal to 4 divided by the square root of 4 squared plus the magnitude of the y component is 6 squared plus the magnitude of the z component is 2 and square that. So we get 4 divided by the square root of 6 squared is 36, 2 squared is 4, that makes 40, and 4 squared is 16, that makes the square root of 56. And of course this here would be a sub y, which would be 6 divided by the square root of 56, and for a sub z that would be 2 divided by the square root of 56, and let's see what that is all equal to. So in the case of the cosine of c, I get 2 divided by 56, take the square root, equals, and that is equal to 0 0.2673, 2673. I double that because this is 4 times that, so we get times 2 equals, that would be 0 0.5345, and finally times 1.5, and this would be equal to 0 0.8018. So those are the three direction cosines of this particular vector, alpha, beta, and gamma, and 
To make sure that I did it correctly, if I then square all of those and add them together, I should get 1. Let's find out. So what do we get when we take um, alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared? We get 0.5345 squared plus 0.8018 squared plus, and we have 0.267. 3 squared. Let's see what we get. I think I took enough uh, decimal places to get something reasonably accurate. 0 0.5345, we squared that, plus 0 0.8018 squared, plus 0 0.2673 squared equals, and we get something really close to 1. Let's just call it 1. And that shows that I've got probably the right answers. And that's how you find the direction cosines of a vector.